Hey Guitar Heroes, your Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play Orange Crush by R.E.M. One of my favorite drinks too. So here we go. I'm gonna just jump into it right away and play it. For those of you that need more help, stick around and we'll go over all the particulars, okay? I'm capoed at the second fret today, which makes this song a lot easier to play instead of playing a bunch of bar chords. So for acoustic guitar, it makes it a lot easier. So it's gonna go something like this. I won't play through the whole tune, but I'll play through each part, um, which basically in this tune, I'm looking at my chart here on my screen that I've written out for one of my students. And basically, there's two parts to this song. There's the intro, verse, bridge section, and then there's the chorus. That's it, two sections, basically. Um, and the chords we're gonna be using today are D, F, C, A major, E minor. Whole tune, that's all you need. Pretty cool, huh? At least with the capo. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be playing a bunch of like F sharp, B, bunch of bunch of chords that you're not going to want to play. So um, here we go. So it's going to go something like this. Um, I'll play the intro. does that twice, so it's gonna go three, four. Back to the verse. So D, D, F, C, okay? Dudes, that's the whole song. Easy, cheesy, right? Okay, so let's talk about some particulars now. Um, first off, the chart that I'm looking at, I've handwritten out for one of my students. I think uh, specifically, I don't know, maybe Dalen. What up, Dalen? Um, but nonetheless, a uh, really cool song um, that I've charted out. And um, I've got a product at yourguitarsage.com. Um, an ebook, an electronic book. It's ten dollars. It's chock full of information that you need for playing these types of songs. Um, how to use the capo, how to change keys, how to play all these chords, how to read charts, the whole enchilada. Nothing that you don't need and all the stuff you need for this style of playing. So check that out. Uh, it's kind of like an all-in-one resource. Um, and with that, I give you access to all these charts that I've done that will help you to learn these songs so that you can play them out live or in band situations or uh, talent shows or whatever. So check that out, yourguitarstage.com. Thank you for spending the time listening to that. Um, okay, so again, chords in this song are D, F, C, A, and E minor. Okay, we'll talk about the rhythm in a minute, but for right now, um, the chord structure is going to be, it's in four, so two measures of D, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a measure of F, and a measure of C, okay? Intro is going to do that twice, verse is going to do that four times, I believe, and then we're into the chorus. The chorus is going to go D for a measure, or a bar, same thing, uh, A for a measure, E for a measure, or E minor for a measure, A for a measure. And you can do that whole bit twice. Okay, we're going over the song construction. Now from there we go back to the intro and do that D, D, F, C twice. The verse again, D, D, F, C four times. The chorus, D, A minor, E minor, A twice. Then we're in the bridge. 
Bridge is just like the intro of the verse, and it's going to go D, D, F, C four times, and then it's going to end with one measure of D. And then we're back into the verse. Verse is the same as the other ones that we did, and the chorus is the same. And I think if I'm correct, I think this song, uh, the chorus, the last chorus is the same, except it plays it twice through, which normally up till now we've only played the chorus. Um, we play that D, A minor, E minor, A two times. But for the last chorus, we double the whole chorus, meaning we play that D, A, E minor, A four times through, and then we end on D. And according to my notes here, I think there's only two beats. Yeah, I think there's only two beats in the end there. I forgot how the song ends, but there you go. Um, you know how the rhythm goes and all that, so that's how the song ends. Let's talk about strumming rhythm for a minute. Um, let me see if I can't break this down for you. So it's going to go... So what I'm doing is like a... Uh, like a one and... So I'm doing like a one and mute. Okay, so I do this thing with my right hand. This is not uncommon for guitar players to do, but you take your right hand or your your, your picking hand and you hit the strings, which kind of cuts the, you know, mutes the strings. It's called deaden or choke or uh, mute. So like, okay, really take that part of your hand right there and hit the strings. Don't be wimpy about it. Don't be going. Okay, don't be doing that. Go. There you go. Um, so, the rhythm here is going to go one and mute and. Okay, it's really important that you do the down strums and the up strums where I'm telling you. Um, it's, it's very important to get a good sense of strumming like that. For the most part, the rule is when it's a down beat or one, two, three, four, you're always strumming down. When it's an up strum, that's an upbeat. So like one and that's an up strum because it's an upbeat or uh, an eighth note. So one and mute and come down here again. Don't hit the strings and go and four and okay. I'll do it slow again. It's gonna go one. The mute is on the two, so one and two and and four. And some of you are saying, well, where's the three? It's in there, I'm just not saying it. So it goes like this. One and two and three and four. One and mute and three and four and you get it? So what you do is you're still counting, but it doesn't mean you hit the strings. That can be a little bit weird. It's like the whole rub your stomach, pat your head thing, you know. So um, there you go. That's the strumming rhythm. So one and you and four. Get it? Easy. Babies can do this. I don't know why they don't. Be very famous babies. All right. If you haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com and get the ebook. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, also hit subscribe. Keep getting these videos. Make your mama happy.